Hi everyone. Since my last review of Muse Sounds Brass, Musical 4 has been released to the public, which has been awesome to see, along with a whole bunch of upgrades to Muse Sounds. So Muse Sounds have been the most obvious feature, apart from the new UI, but let's not forget that there are so many improvements to this version that it would take ages to list them all. However, today we want to see the improvements to the Muse Sounds Brass. So let's have a listen. Okay, there are some things, as usual, that I really love. One of them is these trumpet staccatos. Those are just so nicely balanced and clean and clear. Uh, also, I mean, these lower brass swells. They're just so warm and fuzzy. You gotta love them. And and from piano and mezzo piano to mezzo forte and mezzo piano, it just is really, really nice. It doesn't need anything more than that. I also wanted to try out the staccatissimo because I know those have been separately recorded uh, and the trumpet ones are quite nice. They've got that nice pointedness to them, even in the in the piano. In case you're wondering, by the way, I have panned that whole thing just to make it a bit more uh, comfortable. And towards the end here, obviously, was really trying to compare the forte. And there is a definite difference. Those have definitely got a bit of extra length on them. I'm not sure if I like that extra length yet, uh, but clearly that's how they were recorded, and we'll go with that. Uh, so maybe just... Take note that if you want staccatissimo, like if you want it to be a nice staccato, think about writing staccatissimo, even if it's just for a playback file. Uh, you know, maybe it's not what you'd give your performers in the end. I think the marcato overwrites the staccatissimo. Perhaps not. I'm not sure about that one. Okay, some things that I was not, still not quite happy with uh, when I added tenor trombones. Um, MuseScore didn't seem to recognize that they should be played on MuseScore trombones. It just uh, defaulted them to MS Basic. I know there are other things like I tried to make a whole brass ensemble with cornets and it didn't know that cornets could maybe be played on a trumpet sound. It's just those mapping things that need to be sorted out. Although I suppose cornet players and trumpet players will tell me, no, that's a different sound. You know, whatever. Close enough for what we've got with Muse sounds. In the beginning here, or near the beginning with the trumpets, where are my trumpets? I had to make a little work around here with these mezzo fortes because, uh, let's just hear those. Well, from there. They're certainly not as smooth as I would like them. However, if I make them, where's my dynamics? Mezzo piano, as I would like to, because it should be a mezzo piano opening. For some reason, those long notes, uh, those quick notes get lost, and then the longer note sounds louder. I, I'm not sure what's going on. Dynamics and balance wise, uh, I also found the tuba a bit heavy, so I brought that down in the mix. 
Uh, and these trombones, I've kept them there and used dynamics instead because here, these horn long notes were just way too loud for the trombone uh, staccatos. And so were the bass trombone and chimbasso. So I've put them on mezzo piano. Yeah, the, even at a mezzo forte, that's not really coming out. Although as soon as I take this up, suddenly this, this trombone sounds a little glaring. No, perhaps that would actually be nicer. Anyway, uh, it definitely does make a difference what range you're playing at, which makes sense for all instruments. The range does make a difference to the balance. You can't just assume that everything will be balanced when you say mezzo forte. I liked these, where they are here, I liked these chords. Ooh, what's happening here? <laughs> I like these chords in the lower brass, uh, the forte accents diminuing to the mezzo piano. Although there is something, you can just hear it, I think, if I just play these horns. For some reason, that forte is coming a little bit before the bar line, and so we're getting a, a very slight uh, jump into it, which is a little odd. Um, so yeah, the dynamic's working a bit oddly. This trumpet also is really portamento, not quite sure what's going on. But at least all the right notes are there. If you've seen my previous video, uh, it was just adding extra notes that I hadn't written. Like, I did not ask for all that portamento. However, I do like this high range. That's uh, this jump from the D flat to the B flat, even though I haven't slowed it. Which is now not portamentoing. Sure, it was earlier. Anyway, so yeah, I really like those low chords. Um, however, here, mezzo forte change into piano. Apparently, Muse Sounds doesn't like non gradual changes, it doesn't like sudden changes. Uh, just having listened to these chords, you can almost hear the, the transition and the glitch as they change dynamics. I'm pretty sure there was a little click in there. Oh, yeah. And those, I think something maybe is happening that those uh, dynamic changes are happening just before the actual note change. Maybe that's something we can look into. So from this, it seems like there's still a lot of work to go with the brass. Uh, mutes, I tried again. There's still no mute sounds. And it makes sense. Nobody's, nobody's told us there are going to be mute sounds. It's just something we would really love to have for brass. Also, lots of people have mentioned it. Euphonium. We need a euphonium to be able to play uh, concert band and brass band stuff. I know lots of people would love cornets and piccolo trumpet and all kinds of other brass instruments, sure. But uh, yeah, euphonium would be really nice. However, let's put things in perspective for a second. Let's have a listen to how this would sound. I've exported this as a music XML and brought it into MuseScore 3. That's right. And here it is. This is what we used to be working with, people. Even if for some reason you're not happy with Muse sounds and it just bugs you too much, you can still use those old sounds from MuseScore 3, just called MS Basic. Um, just load that up in the mixer and let's see how that sounds. It is slightly different though because of the playback engine.
you can hear the shades of musical three. I think it's the reverb that makes the biggest difference, I'll be honest. So I think we can definitely be grateful for that nice musical four sound. Have you found any other things in the brass that you're interested in or want to point out? Let me know in the comments.